वेलकम टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर हितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू मटेरियल एब्जॉर्बन इन दिस सेशन नाउ सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड वन सेशन बेस्ड ऑन एटेन्युएशन ऑफ सिग्नल इन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर एंड वन ऑफ द रीजन ऑफ एटेन्युएशन इन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर इज मटीरियल एब्जॉर्बन सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी मटीरियल एब्जॉर्बन इन कंप्लीट डिटेल एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड मटीरियल एब्जॉर्बन these are my session outlines where first i'll explain you basics of material absorption after that we will see factors which is affecting material absorption then out of those factor there are three major factors and one is intrinsic absorption so that we will see after that i'll explain you at extrinsic absorption with complete detail so these are my session outlines and let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of material absorption now see main focus is the fiber fabrication process to understand material absorption and when you fabricate optical fiber due to some defects in material distribution in fiber you will be finding transmitted light is dissipated as heat so this dissipation of light signal as heat is resulting into material absorption and that is what the case which we will be going to see in this session as material absorption so if you observe factors affecting to material absorption then there are major three factors which is resulting into material absorption one is intrinsic absorption due to basic atoms of optical fiber so the major case of optical material absorption is intrinsic absorption and that is happening because of basic atomic structure which is there with material used for fabrication of optical fiber second is extrinsic absorption and that is happening because of we add some impurities in fiber material and that is resulting into extrinsic absorption and third is absorption due to atomic defects in glass material so during fabrication process there are some defect which is there in material so that atomic defect is resulting into material absorption so these are the basic points which is resulting into material absorption so let us see intrinsic absorption first and to understand this you can see this graph where this is what the graph that one can see which we use it as optical fiber communication where here you will be finding there is first window of operation for optical fiber around 900 nanometer here there will be second window that is there at 1310 nanometer and third window that will be there over here nearer to 1550 nanometer so these are the basic three operating window which is there with optical fiber communication and in that first agenda is to discuss about intrinsic absorption now you can see in here lines that i have drawn which is there regarding absorption this is ultraviolet absorption you can see and this ultraviolet absorption that is getting dominated in the region of 800 nanometer to 1200 nanometer and this is infrared absorption so that is very severe as you go beyond 1600 nanometer wavelength so this two absorption that comes in the vicinity of intrinsic absorption and extrinsic absorption so why does that happens so main reason is the material which we use in optical fiber fabrication so in nearer infrared region intrinsic absorption take place due to basic fiber material properties and in ba basic fiber material we use silica and that silica is having absorption at ultraviolet absorption right so this is the line which is getting focused at absorption due to intrinsic absorption which is happening in ultraviolet region 
so pure silica pure silica glass shows intrinsic absorption here we don't consider any external impurities here we need to focus about pure silica properties at short wavelength nearer ultraviolet region intrinsic absorption is more dominant so see this is what ultraviolet absorption which is happening with silica glass so this is the line which is showing you absorption take place and that is intrinsic absorption line that one can say as well as this infrared absorption that is even happening because of intrinsic absorption and that is very severe for silica beyond 1600 nanometer you can see with this slope now in ir region absorption peak are present around operating wavelength ranges from 700 nanometer to 1200 nanometer and even this range covers two basic operating window you can see one window is over here that is 950 nanometer window you can see it is over here and second window that is they are at 1300 nanometer so up to some extent it even affects to 1310 nanometer second window and third window that is there at 1550 nanometer to which this infrared absorption is getting affected basically this intrinsic absorption that happens because of vibration of sio material with electromagnetic field so when there is a interaction in between vibrating sio band and electromagnetic field this intrinsic absorption take place so this is how intrinsic absorption happens now let us try to understand extrinsic absorption so as name indicates extrinsic absorption that happens because of impurities which we add in fiber material in fiber material basic atomic structure is there regarding silica but some other external impurities which we add it with silica that results into extrinsic absorption now see optical fiber are manufactured using melting technique and during this process the metallic ions like cu plus 2 fe plus 2 ni plus 2 is getting deposited with silica and this ions are absorbing signal which we send it as light inside fiber so this ions are absorbing signal and it is dissipating as a heat which is extrinsic absorption there are metal elements impurities which causes absorption of incoming photons and it is resulting into extrinsic absorption now there is one more important thing which we need to focus about that is hydroxyl ion or one can say oh ions so in material silicon hydroxyl sioh bond so that is resulting into extrinsic absorption now see how it happens when sioh bond is getting break it releases si plus and oh minus element so this oh ions that is resulting into absorption of light signal and it has fundamental frequency around 2700 nanometer wavelength so hydroxyl ion that is a major issue which is resulting into extrinsic absorption and second major issue that is getting generated because of metallic ions which we add it in pure material which is silica so the harmonics of this oh ion that is even present at 1380 nanometer 1250 nanometer and 950 nanometer which is a window of fiber optic communication right as i have told you there are basically three windows of optical fiber communication one is at 950 nanometer second is at 1310 nanometer and third is at 1550 nanometer so here you can observe this hydroxyl ion that is having fundamental frequencies that is there nearer this windows 1380 1250 and 950 nanometer so this ions are producing extrinsic absorption which is very severe why the reason is that is happening in operating window of optical communication so we need to lower down this oh ion as possible in our optical fiber so that we cannot have that much severe absorption which is happening due to extrinsic absorption 
So there are a few points which we need to take care of. One is we should reduce hydroxyl ions in optical fiber as well as we should reduce impurities of metal while we fabricate optical cable. So this type of absorption can be reduced by reducing amount of impurities as well as we can reduce it by having reduction in OH ions. So as if you reduce OH ions as well as as if you reduce impurities in optical cable, in that case we can reduce this at extrinsic absorption and these two lines ultraviolet absorption and infrared absorption these two lines explains we should lower down that by fabrication of optical fiber and as if we do this in that case we can have proper optical communication by light signal and extrinsic absorption happens because of hydroxyl ions and impurities which we add and intrinsic absorption that happens because of pure silica which we use it in fabrication of optical cable. So this is all about material absorption. I hope that you have understood this session. Please give your valuable suggestions. Your suggestions are most welcome to me. I have placed all this material in my application engineering funda. You can download all this material from my application free of cost. And definitely give your suggestions over here. The reason is your suggestion motivates me and your suggestion explains me what has to be added on my channel so that it can give benefits to students. Thank you so much for watching this video.